cool thing about Yu-Gi-Oh! Cool thing about Yu-Gi-Oh! Is that no matter what, no matter what, it's always a way to play. Always be a way to play. Wait, who are you? You mean me? I'm the blue eyes guy. Well, I hate the burster stream, but Kaiba has never beat Yugi in a duel. <sighs> so are we just gonna ignore season one? That doesn't, you can't beat me right now. You know what, I bet. All right guys, I am excited to give you guys the live duel, the dog magician, the amazing spellcasters versus blue eyes. You, you mean, the blue eyes, white dragon, the ultimate versus those magician guys. <laughs> Since we are uh, doing a remote duel, it was actually weird to get you all the equipment to your house, but um, how many cards would you like from the top of my deck to the bottom of my deck? All right, so it's very simple. Okay. Doesn't take you any extra steps. Mm -hmm. 10 cards from the top of the deck. Okay. Put them at the bottom of the deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Easy enough, right? All right, cool. 10 cards from the middle of your deck. Put them at the bottom of your deck. You are kidding me. You're, you're, wow. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. That's easy. easy. All right. Cut the deck. Oh. <laughs> now we're good. Take three cards from the top of your deck and place them to the bottom of your deck. All right. That is it. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, you have to be so complicated. So uh, our dice, uh, you have your dice ready? Yeah. I'm only going to use one. I mean, it's fairness, right? Uh, sure. All right, so I'm going to roll and get a, a, a yeah. Um, yeah, what did you roll? One, right? You got a one, right? You got a one! Yes, dog magician! Bro, already on a good start. I'm gonna go ahead and start off by going first. That felt like you cheated. Yeah, uh, magician never reveals his secrets. There was a streak attached to it, wasn't it? <laughs> um, I'm gonna start off first. Obviously, I am going. Woo! Um, this is an interesting hand. I am going to normal summon magician's rod. Uh -huh. What magician's rod does is it allows me to add a spell or trap card that lists dark magician in its card text from my deck to my hand. I'm going to add Magish Dark Magical Circle. All right. Uh, how many cards good, sir? Because I am about to go back in. You going back in? Yes. Like you're gonna draw or? I'm, I'm gonna look through my deck. So like, why would I shuffle? I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna okay, draw. Okay, there you go. Um, we'll just keep it simple. You know, six cards from the top of the deck, put them in the bottom Two, of the deck. Three, four, five, six. All right. That's it? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Dark Magical Circle, I'll look at the top three cards, and then I can arrange them in any order. I did not draw a Dark Magician card, unfortunately, but, um, yeah, I think we'll do it this way. Next, I will send Dark Magician Girl from my deck to the graveyard. My apologies. Apprentice Illusion Magician from my deck to the graveyard to spell summon a Magician Souls. All right. And then I'll use Magician Souls effect to send Eternal Soul from, oh, I gotta shuffle. <laughs> All right, choose. How many cards? Ten. Ten? Yes. Why do you keep with these high numbers? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, five, ten. All right. Now ten more. That's with all the back size. Six, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll draw a card because I sent a card. Sweet, you're going to love this. You're really going to love this. As I actually drew the card that I needed that will spell your doom. Uh, I'm going to use Magician's Rod and Magician's Soul for a Link Summon. I'm going to Link into IP Masquerade. All right. Then I'm going to follow up with a new card from the Battles of Legends Armageddon set. It's going to be Numeron Network. Okay. Numeron Network allows me to send a Numeron Calling from my deck to the graveyard. And then I get to Special Summon Numeron Monsters from my deck to my side of the field. All right. I'll special summon number one, two, and three Hold to on. my side of the field. They're numbers? Yeah. You said they'd spell it in. Those are letters, not, no, okay. Okay, anyways. And next, I'm going to use all three of my monsters for an Exceed summon and to number S0 Utopia Zaxo. That's a name. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> next, I'll set one card phase down, and that's going to be the end of my turn. Alrighty. I draw. So on your draw phase, I'm going to use the effect of S0. I'm going to detach a material, and you can't activate card effects for the rest of this turn. Okay. How uh, many cards? Uh, you know, make it simple. 20. All right. 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There you go. So it's easy. And I can't activate card effects, huh? No, you cannot activate card effects. Essentially, just in your turn and pass it right back to me. Okay. Uh, so I'll reveal blue eyes to special summon. No, you're kidding me! The blue eyes power, it has to be on your side because that is a special summon, but it doesn't activate its effect to summon. No, oh, see. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, and um, battle phase. Yeah, um, yeah, that's fine. To attack the utopic that's, something something. That is something, perfectly something. fine. I'll just let the utopic Zexel go to grave. It cost you a turn, so I'm pretty happy with that. Alright, uh, and, um, I will end my turn. Alright, so it looks like it's up to me to bring it back into the game for, for Dark Magician, for Blue Eyes. I'm going to start off by normal summoning Magician's Rot to my side of the field. All right. You already know what this does, is it allows me to add one monster from my deck to my hand. But what I am going to do is add Illusion Magic. Okay. I'm going to activate Illusion Magic, which allows me to tribute my Magician Rod to add Dark Magicians from my deck to my hand. Oh, okay. Right. That was, you said multiple. You yeah. said it was an S at the end. Up to two. Oh, man. So I'm going to add two copies of Dark Magician from my deck to my hand. And now, of course, the Magician never reveals his secrets. But I am going to reveal one by revealing my face down trap card in Eternal Soul. Okay. This allows me to spell summon a Dark Magician from my hand or graveyard to my side of the field. I'm going to spell summon Dark Magician. Okay. Now, since my Dark Magician was special summoned, a uh, Dark Magical Circle will trigger. I'll banish your Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon. All right. Okay. And so now my Dark Magician will attack you directly. Oh, I was going to say, you got to do the thing. You got to do the thing. I'll also attack with IP Masquerina for a total of 3,300 damage. I think that brings you down to 47. How many cards? I'm sorry, I'm kind of stunned that you just like disrespected me by attacking with the IP. All right. Um, you're, you're wide open. <laughs> uh, just five. Five? Okay. And that's going to be the end of my turn. Wow. To get attacked by an IP Masquerina. Sucks to suck. I'll normal summon, save the eyes of white. That sounds good. I think it's Sage with the Eyes of Blue, too. I'm not even I mean, yeah, Sage with the Eyes of Blue. I apologize. <laughs> There's so much going on. Uh, which lets me add a level 1 Light Tuner from my deck, except for itself. I'm going to use that to get a White Stone of Legend to my hand. Mm -hmm. Next, I shall activate Trader. Okay. To discard the Blue Eyes. Let's draw two cards. I'm sorry, I got to shuffle. Beforehand. That's fine. Uh, how many cards, sir? I'm waiting for you to finish shuffling. Well, I mean, you can just tell me and I can just, you know. Nah, I'm not trying to get you to cheat. You're good as this. Are oh, you sure? Yes. Okay. He fell for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Danger Thunderbird. Okay. Um, yeah, that is going to be an interest. Actually, I actually have an idea. Just lay your hand face down or flat out. All how right. many cards in it? Uh, six. Okay. So the card to my furthest right which I assume may or may not be your right. But on the screen, it's someone else. Okay, use your right hand to touch the right furthermost card. That's one. Now use your right hand to touch your furthermost left card. My right hand? That's yeah. That one? That's six. That's so everyone can know which one and which six, okay? okay cool. So I'm gonna roll the dice. It's going to be, is that one or six? That's yeah. one. <laughs> All right, so this is it. Mm -hmm. uh, after a uh, discard, yeah, 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 yeah. Sweet. Now you get to spell summon your monster and draw a card. W was I gonna have to deal with a blue eyes chaos max? Uh, Are you that rude? We're not gonna talk about that. I'm gonna use the effect of my IP Masquerina right now. Okay. IP Masquerina allows me to link off the Dark Magician. Oh yeah, draw your card. I apologize. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, can I draw my yeah, card yeah. first? Damn IP man. Masquerina allows me to link off my Dark Magician and my IP. Right. I'm going to use it to make a Nightmare Unicorn. Alright. And then since Nightmare Unicorn was Link Summon, I can use this effect to discard the Dark Magician to shuffle in your This is a this is a this is an interesting one. I'm gonna shuffle in your sage with the eyes of blue. Okay. Is there anything special happen since you discarded Dark Magician or? No, not yet. So you just said Dark Magician like that for no reason. Oh, yeah, you gotta say Dark Magician. Right, gotcha. You're not cool if you don't say it that way. I don't think you're cool if you play Dark. Okay, no. no. 
You know Yugi played Dark Magician, right? Yeah, you know Yugi beat Kaiba. We're not talking about that. <laughs> uh, you're good. Cards? Okay, you sure? Yeah. All right, I don't want you to, to think I'm cheating when I beat you. I already know you're cheating. Oh, wow, that's <laughs> aggressive. I'm trying my hardest, man. <laughs> yeah, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying, right? Yeah. That's what I mean, Coach always used to tell uh, us. <laughs> I'm going to activate the uh, Melody of Awakening Dragon to discard the White Stone of Legend. Sounds good. To add two dragon monsters. And I will add Chaos Emperor Dragon. Oh, is that the new card from the Battles of Legends Armageddon set as well? I'm, I'm, I'm like shamelessly plugging it even though I don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the Blue Eyes Alternative. Bro, I'm gonna get hit up. Hey, you didn't have to plug in that. I know, but I wanted to. It felt cool. And because of White Stone of Legend, I can add the Blue Eyes White Dragon to my hand. Sounds good. All right, uh, and then what we're gonna do is by revealing Blue Eyes, I'm going to do Special Summon to Blue Eyes Alternative. That's great. Since I control two or more light and or dark dragon monsters, I can special summon from the hand. I didn't know it had that effect. From thought it was from the graveyard. Hand or graveyard. Okay. That's why that was where the confusion happened. You feel me? And then next, I'm going. Uh, so, my good sir, you have enough monsters on the field. I do have a response. Okay, sir. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> what other responses do you have? No, I, I don't have anything right now. Okay, you sure? Yes. All right. Because I I would have cried. Oh, okay. Only a little bit, but I still would have cut it. So I'm going to link these two. Ooh. Into the Dragoonity. Okay. Dragoonity's effect. Sounds good. To add the Dragon's Ravine. Okay. Activate Dragoonity Divine Lance. That sounds great. Uh, you know, equipment into the Dragoonity. Uh, the Divine Lance's effect allows me to equipped a Dragoonity monster to the Dragoonity monster. Failings, uh, when it's equipped, I can special summon it to my field. This is a really, really nice board you're making. I'm going to link off the Romulus. Mm -hmm. Okay, Link Cross will give you up the two tokens, correct? Yes, sir. So we shall get our two tokens. Mm -hmm. And next, we shall use Phalanx and a token. Sink into Metal Marcher. Mm -hmm. Marcher's effect to special summon Phalanx. Now I have a response. That is a lot of monsters you summoned in one turn. It'd be a shame if I activated Nibiru the Primal Being, would it? I mean, that's debatable, you know? You could just not. I mean, but I will. So Nibiru can only activate when your opponent summons more than five monsters or normal summons more than five monsters on, on a turn. It tributes all monsters on the field, special summons itself to the side of the field, and also special summons a token with the attack and defense equal to the monsters tributed. Uh, I have 2,200 on my side. 2,200 attack? Yeah, that's all I have. Okay. Um, I have uh, this Thunderbird's 28, so that's 5,000. Okay. 6,000, excuse me, 6,000, 6,900 attack and 33, 4,700 defense. Okay, so <laughs> the good thing about the Biru is that I'm placing the token defense position in your middle column. Yeah, you're right here. You already know. <laughs> and the bad thing is I'm gonna have to deal with that card sooner or later. Uh, yeah, you'll be okay, you know. It's not like I got other cards that I can play that are be a problem. Either. I feel like you do, but I had to use Nibiru or you would have made Herald of Arclight. Alright. So I show Banish, Refresh, Link Cross, and Thunderbird to special summon Chaos for the Dragon of Armageddon. That's Kaiba's retrain card, does isn't it? Yeah. Okay, we'll so I need your help, because obviously I can't pick it up and read it. I can see it, but can you please tell me it's uh, monster effects? Well, it does a lot. I just want to know what monster effects. All right, so by banishing a light and dark monster from my graveyard, I can special summon it uh, to the field. Uh, once per turn, I can pay half of my life points to uh, destroy as many cards as I control and 
I can destroy up to that same amount of cards that are on your side of the field. Okay, so we're not going to allow that to happen. I'm going to use the effect. I'm of sorry. I'm, I apologize. I'm sorry. Uh, that doesn't count towards the extra monster zone. So I can't destroy cards in the extra monster zone. Okay, I mean, I don't have any cards in the extra Yeah, monster. but, you know. Thank you for the information. But I'm going to use the effect of Eternal Soul because I'm not trying to lose my Eternal Soul in Dark Magical Circle. That'll probably cost me the game. I'm going to special summon Dark Magician to my side of the field. Okay. And, of course, that's going to trigger the effect of my Dark Magical Circle to banish the Chaos Circle Dragon. Right? Okay, well that's that. That was rude. Just so you know, uh, it wasn't fun. Uh, I'm gonna activate Dragon's Revenge. Why do you still have more planes? To send the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Okay. Send the White Stone of Legend. <clears throat> that's fine. Its effect is mandatory, so you must add a Blue Eyes White Dragon for your deck to end. And if not, you lose the game. Uh. <laughs> so, I know what you're thinking. Mm -hmm. You sent blue eyes to get blue eyes. Why? Mm -hmm. And the answer might surprise you. What is it? It felt good. <laughs> so, yeah. With that, I end my turn. Well, you fought a very long and noble duel, blue eyes, but I am going to use the effect of Eternal Soul on my turn to special summon Dark Magician back to my side of the field. Uh -huh. That will trigger the effect of Dark Magical Circle to banish a monster on the field. My choice is the Nibiru token. The Nibiru? Yeah, token. The Nibiru? Token. The Nibiru token. Oh man. Why you gonna get rid of Nibiru? <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think, as it would most famously be referenced, with no monsters left on the field, I summon Dark Magician, an attack for game. Technically, you special summon Dark Magician. I still summon Dark Magician. You special Don't take this away from me, okay? <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching. It was really fun to do a live duel in person. I really liked it. What do you think, Nishet? Uh, yeah, it was cool. It was different. It was definitely... Very, very strange. It was, I mean, yeah, definitely strange for a mobile duel thing, but the, like, the actual live duel thing where we can explain effects, I thought that that was pretty cool. Let us know down below in the comment section if this is something you would want to see more of. I think it was, again, really awesome and let us know your opinions. Also, be sure to check out one of these videos. They're, they're really awesome videos. And I'll catch you on the next one. Have a great day, guys.